Okay, so now let's look at the two basic rules for making inferences using the biconditional. These are biconditional introduction and biconditional elimination. The way to understand these rules is to simply uh, think about what the biconditional means. A, if and only if, B, that actually means is logically equivalent to, which is what these double turnstiles indicate. A, if A, then B, and if B, then A. That's all it means. A if and only if B just means if A then B, and also if B then A. So this is what you would expect the rules for the uh, biconditional to reflect, and indeed they do. We'll be able to infer from A if and only if B, either if A then B, or if B then A. That's biconditional elimination. And alternatively, if we have both if A then B and if B then A, we can infer A if and only if B. Okay, so just bear in mind when I say A and B, I'm not just talking about atomic propositions, I'm talking about any proposition whatsoever. So A could be P and Q, and B could be R or S, anything at all. Okay, so the next two rules involve the biconditional. Biconditional introduction tells us that if we have if A then B on a line, and we have if B then A on another line, we may infer A if and only if B. Or we also may infer B if and only if A. So we can infer either one. So if A then B, if B then A gives us A if and only if B. If A then B, if B then A, gives us B if and only a, a B if and only if A. So we'll be citing in the justification two lines in each of these cases. So biconditional elimination runs in the reverse direction, tells us that if we have A if and only if B on a line, uh, then we may infer if A then B, or alternatively, we may infer uh, if B then A. So make sure you understand that. You're not allowed to actually infer if A then B and if B then A, as we earlier explained. It's just one or the other. So A if and only if B, you could write if B then A by biconditional elimination, citing here just one line. Or A if and only if B, you can also write if A then B by biconditional elimination, again citing just one line. So let's look at a couple of proofs. So here we have uh, if P then Q, we have if Q then P, and we have Q if and only if P, then K if and only if S. And what we want to infer here, we want to derive, is if S then K. Okay, so if you think about this for a second, go ahead and shut it down and see how you would do it. So, uh, reverse engineering this a little bit, we see here that we have K if and only if S, and if we could get K if and only if S, we could use the biconditional uh, elimination to get if S then K. So that just means we want Q if and only if P, but of course that lies right here with if P then Q and if Q then P. So the proof of this is straightforward. We just write Q if and only if P by 1, 2, by 1 and 2, by conditional introduction, putting these two together. And then we just use conditional elimination to get K if and only if S. And then finally we get if S then K by 5 and by conditional 
elimination. Okay, very straightforward. Another proof, P if and only if Q, Q show that P or S if and only if R, excuse me, P or if S then R. So again, shut it down, see how you would uh, do this for a second. Okay, so what would you do? You have P if and only if Q, you have Q, and you want P or if S then R. Well, whenever you see that you're trying to prove a disjunction, you want to suspect that you are going to just prove one of these and just get the other one for free by or introduction. So you have P if and only if Q, you have Q, you want P or if S then R. Now here it looks to me like you could easily get P, right? So how would you do that? Well, P if and only if Q goes to if Q then P by biconditional elimination. Then you can use conditional elimination to get, Q, get uh, P and then add uh, P or S then R. This is something that uh, you got takes a little getting used to the or introduction with the uh, conclusion it really feels like you're getting a lot for free here but this just is how or introduction works all right so uh, if q then p by one and by conditional elimination p by two and three conditional elimination and then magic p or if s and r by four and or introduction. Okay, so what you've learned so far in this module uh, on the propositional calculus is eight basic rules, conditional elimination, uh, con negation elimination, conjunction introduction, conjunction elimination, disjunction introduction, uh, disjunction elimination, and the two rules for the biconditional that we just learned. These rules are just given to you. Uh, you'll notice that we didn't uh, try to prove them. We just stated them. They can be uh, justified uh, by reference to truth tables, uh, as we've explained before. But the important thing to do uh, practically speaking, is to really uh, memorize them. You'll need to memorize them. You'll need to have these as a part of your mind in order to be able to do uh, these proofs efficiently. Uh, so these rules are also summarized in the Module 5 course materials. There's a sheet uh, that you could even uh, make flashcards out of if you like. Okay, so let's take a look at some study questions.